Hi everybody. Today I wanted to show you a cool automation using Hazel rules that came in very handy when I was trying to download a foreign TV series from the internet. Um, obviously, I don't condone this, but if you don't share it with anybody, and depending on what your the laws in your country or residence is, then you should be okay. But um, th that's not the point of this video. This point is this automation is going to automatically name the uh, file that's downloaded and place it into the fo required folder automatically without you having to do anything. And now I've set Downy, the program that downloads the files, to download to a specific place, and I've set Hazel, a Hazel rule, to rename the file as they're downloaded. So now let's try it with one file so you can see um, the process that I went through. Unfortunately I couldn't figure out a way to download all the videos at once so I had to do it about 30 times to download the whole series. But the download part is what I had to do 30 times. I didn't have to rename each file individually. That was done automatically. So let's see what happens when I download the first file again. Okay, so I would first select the video that I want to download. It's taking a while. Here it is. Now I would right click and select View Page Source. And the code for the page would appear. And I would do a search for the .mp4 extension, command F, and that automatically has uh, the .mp4 extension because I've, I recently went through this process, and here it's found it. So here is the video file, and I would select it all the way up to the mp, .mp4 should be the end of the file name. So this is, that's that. You would command C, and then you would bring up Downy. You have to get it from the uh, dock. Here's Downy, and then you would simply click on it, and then click command V. And here it is already downloading the the link and once it's downloaded this file again we will go through the hazel rules that it put together it followed in order to rename the file now pay attention to this um, this file name, this is what every file name that's downloaded, at least from this site, is named to when, when you are using Downy. So that's one of the rule conditions that will change when you create the Downy, uh, I'm sorry, the Hazel rule to rename the file. Alright, so 
let's wait while it's downloading and it's almost done here and then we'll wait a few more seconds and we'll see that there was a um, hazel rule that executed and here it is right there a hazel rule executed and renamed to earthquake s01 for season 01 in episode for that's what the e is for 01 okay and the file is automatically rena renamed from this Riktac video player version 1 into here let's go to the downloads folder and see it right away to earthquake s01 e01 for season one episode one all right now let's close um let's close the uh, source page and the um series web page I'm going to just do a command Q here. Oh, we need to hold it down. Okay. So, I'm going to go up here. We got a system preferences and go to Hazel. And here is the rule. It's called Zazal. Zazal just means earthquake in Arabic. I just thought of a creative name for the rule. Now let's look at the rule in more detail. Okay, the first condition of this rule, and it says here, if all conditions, if all of the following conditions are met. So, I set the name to RigTac Video Player Version 1, which is what you saw here. So, if it sees any of uh, files that are named RigTac Video Player Version 1, it knows that it's on the right track. And then it looks at the extension. If it's finding extension .mp4, then it knows that, it, that it's the file that it needs to change. Now, Here's where things get interesting. I put date created as today. So any it only cares about files that were created today. I put this file, this condition in so that any files that have already been edited and have the correct name or file name don't get um, bothered by any hazel rules because they're already good to go. Okay, so now these are the conditions that it goes through to find the file that it needs to edit and rename. <coughs> so we're assuming that it found, and it did, it found the file that meets these conditions. Now here's what it needs to do 
to the file to complete the process. I set it to rename and here's all the actions that I have available to me in Hazel. But I set it to rename it with a pattern. Let's look at the pattern. All right. So here's the pattern that I've set up. I've set a pattern that says replace text here. So it's going to take this name, which is this right here, from <coughs> Downey. It says replace this name to Earthquake <coughs> with S01 E only and no other um, no episode number for the name but everything else is um, already is part of the name so that's done now let's move all over to the number the number is what's here what's gonna go right after the E in the, which is where the name ends for the name for the number I've selected to use the lowest available and to also choose and make it a two digit number now I've chosen to use the lowest available because some days you would have already created let's say episode um, 13 or episode 2 whichever but it would automatically put the next number that's being created as the next one up meaning that if the if the last one you created was number 2 it would automatically create number three. If you the last one you created was number thirteen, it would automatically create number fourteen. That's what what use lowest available means. And the two zeros down here just means use use a two digit two digit number. That's that. And then um, the extension here just um, says no change, keep it with the extension that it has. So just put the, just keep the extension that it already has as part of the name. And that's done. And so that's the pattern that the file will be renamed to. And it will automatically go into this season 01 folder. Um, and that's how you can use Hazel to rename files that you are automatically placing into a, a specific folder. Alright guys, um, let me know if you liked the, this video um, by liking the video and commenting and subscribing. I'm really trying to reach um, at least a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020. Um, so it would really help me out if you guys uh, subscribe to my channel, comment, and like the video. And let me know below what, what other types of automations you'd like to see. Alright guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.